everybody, this is Ethan here at Kite Paddle Surf in Bellingham, and today we're going to take a look at the LibTech Terrapin. This is a 7 foot 4 mid length board. The shape is by Alex Lopez, and the one we have here is in the LibTech construction. I was recently fortunate enough to take a multi-month surf trip down the west coast. I was only able to bring one board. I decided to bring the Terrapin because it's just such a versatile board and a pretty solid quiver killer. For the shape, it's a pretty thinned out board. Um, it paddles super well. That's one thing I really valued. Uh, it makes the paddle out a lot easier. It's pretty thinned out in the nose, which is great for steeper takeoffs um, compared to some of their other mid-length models, the pickup stick. That was one big difference I noticed is this one really handles well in big waves, especially with that single fin setup. Has a lot of drive to it and a lot of glide. Um, while it does all really well in big waves, it's also decent in smaller stuff. That was kind of the reason that I took a mid-length down instead of just a short board, just so on those dinky days I could still get out, have fun in the water. These boards, as with all LibTech boards, they're you know handmade in Washington, so that's one big reason I like to support them. Um, they make great stuff. They're super durable. Of course, they're not going to be you know fully bomb-proof. Accidents happen. I fell with it and I got a ding, but that was my fault. If you decide to pick up the Terrapin, you're going to want to just choose a single fin. One experience I had, I had a, both a seven-inch kind of a pivoty fin and then an eight-inch fin with a lot of rake to it. Um, that seven inch fin was fun and smaller stuff, but there was a couple times on bigger overhead days where when I was making a bottom turn, the tail would kind of slip out, just not enough grip with the fin. Um, so I'd recommend maybe sizing up a fin, maybe an inch, eight, eight and a half inch fin if you're planning on taking it out on bigger days. With any board, the turning characteristics are gonna be largely decided by the fins. Um, but this being a pintail surfboard that's really built for glide, I found that if you really want to try to crank a turn, you need to have your back foot placement and front foot placement here. Um, you know, stay back on the board and put your weight through the back foot. And it does turn really well, um, again, dependent on fin. I like to surf it with a pretty raked out fin. So my style is kind of just going for more long drawn out turns. This being a mid-length board, it's a user-friendly option. Um, I would decide on going with the Terrapin if you like a single fin style to your surfing. Um, and relative to LibTech's other mid-length option, the pickup stick, this one's going to have the edge in bigger, steeper waves, while the pickup stick will perform better in mushier average conditions. So it's kind of dependent on your local conditions and what kind of style of riding you're looking for. Um, thanks for watching. Give us a call if you have any questions and we'll see you out there.